Welcome in, everybody, to the second half of our second season of our Bears Rebuild. We are having an, I don't want to say an excellent season. It's been a little bit up and down. Our defense has been faltering a little bit lately, but we are currently a hold of first place in the division. Justin Fields having a very good season three for him. David Montgomery having a good year. Darnell Mooney has been balling out. Our rookie Jordan Addison, former Bolitnikoff winner, has been a little bit more on the quiet side. Defensively, um, started very hot, but have struggled a, a little bit more lately. Malcolm Rodriguez has been balling the heck out, 68 overall. But going off, had a good year last year. Won a Defensive Player of the Week here. I'm surprised we haven't had a breakout for him yet. So he's been kind of one of our storylines. Derwin, of course, our big free agent purchase. Has two picks himself. Marcus Davenport's been very quiet. We uh, expected more from him. Should probably see if we can maybe upgrade the... I guess not. Does he get a second ability though he does he just hadn't unlocked it yet so this should help and what about derwin what's up lunar how's it going i think we'll go actually mid zone ko and That looks pretty good. Tackle Supreme. I've never used this. This looks like some combination of unfakeable and secure tackler. But, regardless, Lunar got engaged last night. Let's go! Making plays, Lunar. Congratulations. Happy for you, my dude. Big W's in the chat tonight. Hell yeah. We have two games of playage to go uh, on this season. One game of full offense, one game of uh, full play the moments. But we do get to play any breakouts we get, and we get a breakout tandem. Now, I'm only doing this for development boosts and I don't know if this is one of those I don't think it is but I think if we get it he'll continue to grow plus I want to use it as an excuse to play a little bit more and uh, maybe feed feed him a little bit so let's shut down the run against the Vikes I think we should Lay off practice a little bit. And let's throw it deep, baby. That's what's been working for us. Yeah, let's get a spread on this, Chaser. Let's go Let's go Bears minus six. I feel pretty good. We're playing the whole game of offense. We're going to throw three touchdown passes. Let's blow them out. Let's go. Do our upgrades first. We also have a press conference under siege. Ooh, Darnell Mooney. Nice boost. <laughs> Lunar. Love it. I got the Tedster here tonight. We might, might be able to get a little Teddy Cam going. We have not had Teddy Cam in this series yet. I'm going to blame Justin Fields for these sacks. Let's let's see if we can avoid this pass rush and not take a lot of sacks. Our long snapper got hurt in practice. You hate to see it. Okay, here we go, chat.
Defense continues their struggles early. Trade for Quay Walker. Hard pass. We got Malcolm Rodriguez balling out instead. Velas. <laughs> I feel bad for you having to rebuild the Bears. Look, we're having fun. Justin Fields is a good time. Oh, God. What a play. Justin Fields on the move. Dog, he put the team on his back. The pressure got in unblocked, and we got away. Good blocking. Monty, eight yards. Get Velas. Actually, we're going to flip this. We're going to go to Komet. A little design touch for the tight end here. Stiff arm. Oh, that's a good tackle. Is that Anthony Barr back? No, that's Hicks wearing the long sleeve. That's, that's Anthony Barr's gig right there with the, the shooter sleeve. We're going to flip this. Fields on the boot. Just take it. God, that speed kills. Samurai King, I do want to become famous. That's all I've ever wanted. Please give me a link. <laughs> More play action. Mooney. Drags the feet, some toe drag swag. Okay, but we got to get Addison. He's on the bubble here. We'll see what that safety does. Otherwise, it should be an easy touchdown. Oh, good tackle. Second and goal. There it is. There's Addison. Good job, D, getting us a stop. Dang. Addison's on the alert here, the deep post. Not there. Just trying to not take sacks this week. It's one of our big goals. We'll take that. We'll take that as long as I didn't get picked. We'll punt it away. Trust the D. Let Eberflus and the boys go to work. Good punt. All right, we got the ball right back. Addison's got the comebacker. Oh, Montgomery with the straight up drop. You don't see that too often. Yikes. Okay, third and five coming up. We got the GOAT, Alan Lazard out there. Minus six speed advantage. That sounds about right. Oh. <laughs> Arm punt. It's <laughs> good good coverage. What's up, Yoda Kazam? Frequent YouTube viewer, infrequent Twitch viewer. It's all good. We're happy to have you. Another punt inside the 20. Ooh, we got a little turnover. Let's see what happened.
Give me a give me a Malcolm Rodriguez interception. Eddie Jackson pick. That was the wrong read, but I wanted to hand it off, hand it off anyway. Addison on the corner, probably not the right read here. Going for him anyway. Oh my, no way. That second foot, that second foot was out of bounds. What? Can I challenge that? Oh man, no Thanks, way. NBA. Addison's been kind of mid, you guys. Unable to get his hands on that. I mean, that's definitely not a pick. Or was it? One. Oh, it was a pick. He got number two down. Come on, Addison. I need you to contest that. We're getting one play with, with the defense here. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> the nightmare will continue. One play, and it goes 99-yard rushing touchdown. Oh, my God. Yikes. No more defense for me. Oh my god. No panic. God, Kendrick's all over that. Let's just run it. Scene with the pursuit speed. Third and two. Good job, good play. Can we get Addison on a little uh, jet action here? There we go. There we go. Those are passing yards. Okay, we got some Shanahanigans here. Play action double cross. Ugh. Addison unable to separate on that. This is a custom playbook, and I think I have it uploaded. EA probably took it down because they take down everything. Are you on next-gen Xbox, Yoda Kazam? Third and two. Just run it. A lot of Montgomery in the receiving game here. Second and two, just a little quick game. Let's actually let's just run this bad boy. Fight for that. First and ten. Dang, good play by Hicks. Addison, man, he is underwhelming to say the least.
You got to hang on to that. That's a good throw by Fields. Third and 11. Oh, my gosh. Another interception in the red zone. Mike Hughes back here in Minnesota. Ugh, what a pick. I thought we had him beat. I thought I could fire it over the top of him, but no. We get the ball back. But this Minnesota defense has, has been pesky here. There goes Mooney. Time out. Way to get out of bounds. Only one sack in the first half. That's that's respectable. Could be a blitz here. Let's hot read Addison. Blitz is on, but let's just hit Montgomery here. Oh, he stays in bounds, gets up field. Man, they are giving us those underneath routes all day. Did he step out, though? No. Your dad's a Seahawks fan. Pray for him. Yeah, it's going to be a rough year. Oh, there was a window there. Good luck. Just want Addison to follow this on a slant. Oh, no. Daniil Hunter gives us our second sack. Just make sure we're double teaming Hunter here. It's going to roll out to the right. Let's just throw that away. Didn't get anything, any look we wanted, so... Let's just put it through the uprights and hope for a better second half. Oh, I start picking if I'm the Steelers, for sure. Okay, let's have a good second half here, guys. Down seven. Come on, Jenkins. Getting obliterated out here. Why did I just call a timeout? Man, let me see that. We got to start doubling Hunter because this is a problem. Jeez. Jenkins, come on. Just in case that seam comes open. They're going the wide nine. I don't even think I can. We just got to get rid of this ball quickly, probably. Oh, we might have it. We got it. Is that cover three match? It was. Let's go, baby. I will have to check on uh, Christian Watson's development in this series. See if uh, Aaron Rodgers is bringing him along. That tight end screen worked, but we're going to get a... Hey, DK Metcalf isn't the only good stealer. Or uh, the only good Seahawk. They have a good punter. Okay, Addison. Are you going to get one-on-one -on -one here? And if you do, are you going to win it? There you go. There you go. It's a good route. Ooh, okay, Velas. Velas out here with some little spins. A little twister action. Let's give Mooney a little touch here.
Third and inches. Go read option. Just kidding. Throw the bubble. We got numbers. Go, baby. Velas is going to average like three yards of reception in this game on like six catches. Well, the Addison breakout is not looking great. He's got like 60 yards and a touchdown, so he's not having a bad day, but fantasy owners are happy. Can throw him the bubble here. Now the Vikings are the number one defense in takeaways. They're showing out today. Oh, man. Fourth and six. We, we're still losing. Gonna go for it here. Alan Lazard is there. Big body over the middle. Dang, Otter, you got a, you're coming off a 12-hour work, work shift. Good job. You made it through. Do we dare throw a screen to Alan Lazard, you guys? Not exactly who we draw that play up for, typically. Third and two. Don't forget about the run game. We got good numbers. Ugh. Come on. Lower your shoulders. Get behind that O-line. Montgomery holds on. Let's go. Great drive. And the defense surrenders a field goal, but a chance to go win the game. Got a good ball game on our hands here. Oh, Fields, come on. I hear you, Chaser. I hear you. I just don't want to wake him up. But I'll, I'll get it set up. I'll get Teddy Cam going after this. Ooh, Komet running through Harrison Smith. Go hurry up. Cover three. Oh no, you're going the wrong way. Are they gonna give that to me? No. Harrison Smith legit pushed him backwards. All right, this looks like cover two. Who else? David Montgomery's been half of our receiving game in this one. We're gonna go with a little QB power action here? Nah, not if they're going to bring Harrison Smith down in the box. That's a, a fumble waiting to happen. I'm actually going to call a timeout. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. No! Fields, bro. Are you serious? What a bad pass! That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful. Really? To perform like that. Pitiful. Ugh. Dude, that's backbreaking. Leaves it way inside. Intercepted. Unbelievable. Three interception day 
on Justin Fields. And we're leaving Minnesota with a gross loss. Oh, that really hurts. And we fall to 500. Mmm. Man. Addison still gets a upgrade, even though he has definitely been underwhelming. He's going to get that dev trait revealed here next week. We'll see what he ends up being. Just keep working, Addison. So we can do scouting national focus, I think. It's current set to wide. Res uh, I think. Corners probably. Yeah. I feel like pass rush, honestly. Let's do like right end. Or left end. going to be a long bye week after we concede first place in the division to the Minnesota Vikings. Come here, Teddy. We got to get the people what they want. Where is it? There he is. Let's get this morale up. Let's have a team bonding retreat. We need to breathe after that last game. So we still have two games of playages. What's up, Brandon? How's it going? Taking on Derrick Henry and the Titans this week. Let's try and slow down the run. Easier said than done against this group. Not going to play this one. I'm going to trust the sim. We'll go full pads for another couple weeks before we lighten up. Got some upgrades. We haven't even looked at our players ready to negotiate yet. Ben burke has been rendered useless because of the Malcolm Rodriguez domination. Clayton Campbell gets his second upgrade. UDFA here. Work on his run-stopping ability. Is progressive fatigue working for computer teams? I honestly have no idea. Who would be better for power running between CJ Ferdell and Michael Carter? Neither of those guys are good for a power run game. I'd pick up a, a big bruiser for, for goal line stuff. So let's take a peek at players ready to negotiate. Montgomery's up. Mooney's up. I mean, we definitely got to pay Mooney. He's been an absolute monster. I mean, he would get north of 20 with how he's playing. He would get somewhere in the Mike Williams, Chris Godwin range. I think... I think we'll go... 22 a year for Mooney. He's that good. Jalen Johnson's up. He's expensive. Um, very good, but expensive. Komet's up. Gibson's up. I think we should pay Gibson. That's, I mean, he's, he's not much of a pass rusher, but that's... That's pretty fair money for a run stop stopper like him. A lot of guys kind of low end starters are up. I think we'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for the prime sub, C Max. Cheers from Canada. 
Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Can we beat the Titans? This is a big one. We fall down to five below 500 if we don't win this. Let's turn the season around. Come on. Ah, 26 to 20. Team team morale is down, man. Pick up an injury. <laughs> Gibson. Right after we paid him. So we will need somebody to step in at D end. Who will that be? Muhammad, I guess that's a pretty easy transition there. Forgot we have him still. Let's, I suppose, spend some of these coaching points. Keep working down this way. Go for an extra focus player, maybe. Let's do that. Let's let's keep building up for focus players. What tier of wide receiver is DJ Moore in for me? Uh, good starter. Great start. Like, high-end starter. Short of elite. I would say he would... He would qualify, or qualify for a, a true number one. So a big game this week against the six and three Packers. I think we should play this one. We can choose our focus players. I wouldn't mind upgrading the O line. We're losing Pat. We're losing our center. Or no, we we paid. We paid McCoy. We do need another guard with uh, Patrick leaving. These guys haven't really gotten much attention, so let's let's take a look at some of these offensive linemen. Closing in on that hype train. Thanks for the the sub, Wicked Woodrow. Really appreciate the support. The excitement for this series has been awesome, you guys. The uh, the TFG plays had slowed down a little bit during the draft, so it's it's been really fun to have active chat like you guys in here, keeping the series fresh like this. All right, we're gonna go down to half pads. I think I think we still have to. Let's go blitz counter actually against this pass rush. So what do you guys think chat? Should we do play the moments this week? Try and interfere a little bit on defense. I think we should do that instead of uh, all offense, save the all offense for later. Yep, we'll get a look at Christian Watson. Well, we should take a look at how Watson's playing. If he's even starting. Fields gets a big upgrade in time for a big game. Oh, another throw power boost. He's up to 95, you guys. Let's go. We got our offensive coordinator, Teddy, with us this time. We can't lose. My guess is Christian Watson is not playing for them. Oh, just kidding. Look at that. He going off. He is going off. 693 yards. That's fun to see. All right, big game alert. Let's 
Here we go. Big game here, Teddy. We need this. Uh, yeah, Chaser, let's get the spread up on this one. I think Packers should probably be favored. I'd say Packers minus three. Defense holds on the first possession. Teddy's calling a read option. Reading Rashawn Gary. He's coming. Oh, my God. Fields, dude. <sighs> Blasted. And he fumbles it. Can't have that. Especially when the game allows us to actually play some defense. That hurts. We do have a third and 15. Oh, we did get the hype train. Let's go. Shout out to the chat. Hype train. Okay, just in case they're going. They're going. Woo! We stopped it. Fourth down. Fourth and one. They're letting us go for it. We're going to go read option again. Oh my God, Fields. Are you kidding me? Hold on to the football. <laughs> the nightmare will continue. Christ. Oh man, what a dot. Rogers finds Romeo Dubs. The new regime is taken over in Green Bay. Romeo Dubs, Christian Watson, Amari Rogers. Okay, we go score though. Whew. I still own you. Nice tackle, Brisker. Second quarter. Not exactly going how we would have wanted right now. Jeez, Christian Watson tapping the toes. Fields can't get the offense going. It's not looking good right now. We got to flip this momentum. I'm going to take this phone call real quick. Just the wife checking in. She she called and then said, uh, oh, shoot, I didn't. I, she, I don't know why she sounds so Minnesotan <laughs> when I started saying that, but... Um, she didn't realize I was streaming until after she called me. But she says hi to the chat. All right, come on, D. Stuff it. Chase. Man, Rogers has been perfection. There she is, saying hi herself. Ugh. All right, at least we have a two-minute drill. We need points here, man. We have all our timeouts. We're gonna make something happen. Velas gets out of bounds. Whew. Stokes tried to jump that thing. I think that 95 throw power, that plus one throw power we got this week might have been the difference between a pick and a completion there. All right, we got the look we wanted. Can't change the seam. Can't change the tight end up the seam, though, because we got home field against us. 
Oh, man. Thought I could outrun that guy. This is the Alan Lazard revenge game. Thanks, Mooney. Great read. Pressure breathing down our neck. Let's go screen. I gotta neutralize this pass rush a little bit. I mean, even a field goal here would be nice. It's set up. Cut back inside. Oh, man. Timeout. 20 months of prime sub from Lisa B. No! Fields! Dude! This is getting absurd. Oh my god. At least we got a tackle. Loses three fumbles in the first half. Ugh. No way. The Skinner guy, superstar safety. I thought that was a safe throwaway, and he dropped back to pick that off. <sighs> the defense is trying to keep us alive here. Dude, this guy's insane. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this guy? As if the Packers didn't need uh, another great safety. J.L. Skinner. Wow. Yeah, I think we got to bench fields, you guys. This is just hideous. Nathan Peterman time. Can we lead the comeback? Seems unlikely. <laughs> Five turnovers today. Three fumbles. <laughs> this is a domination by Green Bay. Terrifying defense. The speed, the pass rush, all of it. Let's get out of here. We didn't stand a chance. We got outclassed in that game. Rodgers, we did pick him off, but Fields throws two picks, loses three fumbles. Man, that was a learning experience for us. What's up, Fades, in the chat? At least Malcolm Rodriguez gets a boost. Well, that is going to make things difficult on us for sure. Season's far from over, but at 4 and 6, we got to start winning some football games. Justin Jones goes down with an injury. So, the D-line depth, we're going to have to see Siaki Ika step up, Taylor Stallworth Let's move uh, Tonga up for a few weeks, see what he can do. We kind of know what Stallworth is. Let's see what Tonga can do with some extra opportunities here. So Vikings next week. We have one game of playage left unless we get a breakout. This time I'm going to blame the O-line. We need a win in the worst of ways here. It would also help if Green Bay would start losing, but man, with the way that defense looked, I don't know. And defend the outside run. 
Let's let's maybe get the ground game going a little bit for us, cause can't have Fields running for his life like that. Big big game here. Come on, give us a dub, EA. Hello. Let's go. Who? You don't play. And the Packers play. lose. Take a little bit of a deep breath. That was a huge win. Velas is going to miss three weeks. Next deep dive is Friday, Ekaterillo. A little bit longer this week. Had to wait on my, my guest isn't uh, ready to record until tomorrow. Let's see what da... Eh, screw it. We'll go Lazard for a few weeks. We'll go Lazard and Addison will step into that slot role for where Velas. If a good right tackle is available in free agency, do I take him and give up on Jenkins? We could potentially move Jenkins into guard. He's got a guard's... You got guard potential. That was that was a big, big win for the team morale last week for sure. And a big one against the Eagles this week. This is not an easy roster to win against. Jalen Hurts. Let's contain that scramble. Throw it deep as we do. <laughs> Garrett, somehow Lazard still has a starting job, and I said he would never start. Technically, he doesn't have a starting job. Playing because someone got injured is not starting. That's not being named a starter. That's locking into a starting position. If we miss the playoffs, I think we will do the offseason. Wicked Woodrow. If we make the playoffs, probably no offseason tonight. That's probably the game plan here. Bunch of upgrades. Davenport. Need him to wake up a little bit. Bunch of them. A lot of O-line. Quinton Gatson. Velas is a, well, let's see. Yep, Velas is a 70 now. Siaki Ika, we're going to get to see what his, uh, we should probably check what Addison's development trade is as well, but let's see what Ika is. Still hidden. Hasn't played enough. Couple of guys that we haven't decided what to do with yet. Montgomery, Jalen Johnson. I'm not crazy about giving Jalen Johnson a massive contract. I just feel like he hasn't quite. Lived up to that deal for us. But we're going to sim this week, guys. Packers again next week. Come on. Yes. Woo. 28 to 23. We get some guys back from injury here. Justin Jones. And Gibson's back. Rodriguez is going to get a dev this year. I'm calling it. Got Gibson back out there. So 
So Packers this week, they're eight and four. You got to come to our house this time. I'm not going to play them. <laughs> Roquan gets two picks last week. Let's let's take a look at these box scores and see how we've responded these last couple of weeks. So 21 to 14 against the Vikes. Defense steps up big. Fields does throw a pick, 243 yards. Mooney, a good week. What Rodriguez just continues to rack up. Siaki Ika gets a sack and a half. Yeah, yeah, Brandon. We signed two of my least favorite Packers of all time, Alan Lazard and Blake Martinez. So Fields has been just a turnover machine these last couple of weeks. Let's see if we can clean that up. Pretty good for Montgomery. Siaki Ika has really turned it on as the uh, in the pass rush. Let's let's make him our rush defensive tackle. Two and a half sacks the last couple weeks. I don't see superstar next to his name, so my guess is. He just has star dev. Yep, just star dev for him. What about Addison? Star dev for him as well. All right. What do we even try to take away? I think... I think we take away the deep pass against Rodgers. And then let's let's just go blitz counter again. I Actually, no. Let's see if we can't just run the ball on this team. Because, God, that defense was suffocating the first time around. I'm not going to be playing this one, Chaser. I'm going to save it. I mean, we could still put it up for the sim. Let's go Green Bay minus minus eight and a half for the spread on the simulation. Nice boost for Ebner there. Okay, big sim. We we will be right in the mix for the division if we can pull this one off. I'm not expecting it, but it is possible. And...